Isn't that nice? We're outside the Nokia Center in downtown Los Angeles where Nintendo has just announced its new console, the Wii U. Wii U. It's a system we will all enjoy together, but also one that's tailor-made for you. The Wii U has a unique controller. It has a 6.2-inch touchscreen display. Uh, it's backwards compatible with Wii and Wii accessories. It's designed to appeal to all people, but particularly to core gamers. It has two analog sticks, two bumpers and two triggers, much like your uh, Xbox 360 or PlayStation 3 controllers. It has rumble features, a D-pad, and accelerometers. To begin explaining, let's take a little quick peek at Wii U in action. Hey, it's uh, time to watch some baseball. Okay. It's been a runner on second. Hernandez is on the mound, and here comes the 3-1 pitch, swing and a miss, 98 mile per hour fastball. <laughs> has been backed by many developers including THQ, EA, Ubisoft and more. Uh, for myself, where I see the Wii U is, is as a current gen console. Um, we've had Danny Bilson, Ken Levine, Peter Moore, uh, John Rosadelio from the CEO of EA. Uh, they've all come on and, and touted the game's features and they're excited about current generation titles coming to Nintendo players. What it means is Nintendo fans are going to be able to play current generation console games but only for as long as uh, Microsoft and PlayStation keep this console, current console generation around. At launch, the Wii U will have Darksiders 2, Batman Arkham City, 
uh, Assassin's Creed Revelations, Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Online, uh, Aliens, Colonial, Colonial, Aliens, Colonial Marines from uh, Gearbox, uh, Dirt, Metro Last Light, Tekken and Ninja Gaiden 3. Celia took the stage and discussed EA's portfolio of games, saying, imagine if Battlefield 3 were playable on a Nintendo console. Now, it's not an official confirmation, but it would certainly seem that uh, EA are looking at bringing Battlefield 3 to the Nintendo console as soon as possible. So, uh, thank you, Awadasan, and thank you, Reggie. Over the years, I've made E3 appearances with several console partners, but never before with Nintendo. What brings us together today is a breakthrough in our relationship break, based on a stunning breakthrough in game technology. What Nintendo's new console delivers speaks directly to the players of EA Sports and EA Games. Nintendo's new console will produce brilliant high-definition graphics and new gameplay opportunities. We look forward to seeing great EA content on this new platform. Imagine playing football with an innovative new controller that takes all that data, all of that play calling off the big screen, leaving you with a sharper, more personal, more immersive HD experience. Imagine a shooter like Battlefield with jaw-dropping gra jaw graphics and smooth character animations of the Frostbite engine brought to you on a Nintendo system, that breakthrough controller. Now imagine those games with an open online functionality that allows you to download new content, find matches, compete on leaderboards, and participate in a global community. And finally, imagine these EA games on a console with content, gameplay, and community that can be extended to mobile, social networks, as well as the web. Over the past months, we've been telling our employees and consumers that EA is undergoing a transformation. We're changing games from a thing that you buy to a place that you go. 
Nintendo's next console is truly transformational as well. A better platform than we've ever been offered by Nintendo. Deeper online capability, and all of it driven by an unprecedented partnership between Nintendo and Electronic Arts. Thank you. We can't wait to see EA games on this new system. Nintendo boss uh, Satoru Iwata described the Wii U as a deeper and wider experience, by which he means uh, core gamers will be able to enjoy their games on it, but the Wii U will also cater to uh, the Wii audience, the people who bought the uh, previous generation console. Uh, the interaction between the controller itself and the TV screen is really quite impressive. Um, you're able to, for example, browse the internet and flick uh, a YouTube clip onto the TV, or a video clip at least. Um, you'll be able to play the full game in your hands, should someone else want to use the television, for example. I mean, it's very cool. Um, but the graphics are decidedly this generation. So once again, uh, Nintendo is going to be... Um, well, once again, Nintendo is on par with the other core consoles, uh, but it means that uh, the full catalogue of AAA core titles will be available to Nintendo for the next four years, or thereabouts. Let me show you just an early example of what the system can do.